Bonjour, welcome, welcome back for a new perfume review. And today perfume review is about the top five affordable perfume for spring. They smell amazing, they are gorgeous, flowery, feminine perfume and they are affordable and not expensive. So it's exactly what we are asking for spring, beautiful perfume and affordable. So I can't wait to start this review, it's gonna smell amazing okay the first one is a beautiful perfume and i never never ever review this one this is such a shame because it's an iconic french perfume this is of course cabotine launched in 1990 this is a 90s perfume so cabotine is the modern version of the original version which is cabochard i review this perfume this is a woodsy opulent perfume perfect for fall so cabotine is the modern version of this one and it's definitely more fresh more green more light and this is a green flowery Perfume. This is the first perfume in the world with a beautiful flower called Lily Ginger. So Ginger Lily, also called Butterfly Lily, is an Himalayan flower, white flower with large petal. These plants bloom for a few weeks in the spring and each flower only lives for a few weeks hours so that makes this perfume even more beautiful even more you know raw and intense with a beautiful butterfly lily on the top notes you got peach plume blackcurrant and coriander so this is fruity aromatic and fresh slightly spicy with a coriander on the opening on the middle it's powdery and white with a beautiful butterfly lily ginger iris rose jasmine tuberose and carnation so so super powdery and whitey so i can also tell you that cabotine smell a little bit like poison so if you love poison by dior you're gonna really enjoy this one it's slightly more greener fresher and lighter than poison but you're gonna get also this very indolic intoxicating note on the earth another flanker of cabotin because cabotin has many different versions of flanker and two of them are also great for spring the first one is cabotin rose lunch in 2003 so this is a flowery sweet a perfume with a most predominant note is the rose rose de met to be exact and the top notes you got a beautiful cherry a blossom pear and black current on the middle it's rose peony white flowers papers and on the base it's a beautiful frangipani musk and sandalwood the other flanker perfect for spring is cabotine florali a version launched in 2014 so it's a floral marine aquatic version of cabotine it's very aquatic and less opulent softer definitely softer and on the opening you got black currant lemon and freesia on the middle it's sea notes lily of the valley and rose and on the base it peach musk and white cedar so it's a beautiful white flower perfume with some aromatic green notes on the opening very marine with the sea notes on the middle and slightly woodsy on the base another beautiful and also affordable perfume for spring is mademoiselle azaro lunch in 2015 and some of you have also mentioned this perfume in the comment section it's a beautiful fruity floral perfume sweet also on the dry down but nothing is cloying in this one you got a beautiful fresh note it's fruity fresh and white and the two most predominant notes in this one are peony and orange blossom a few ingredients but it smells so expensive on the opening you got a peach orange blossom so fruity and airy at the same time on the middle it's peony jasmine and orange blossom so beautiful opulent flower bouquet and on the base it's woodsy and powdery beautiful perfume for spring definitely another one i love for spring and i have also a sample this is mademoiselle rochas lunch in 2017 this is a floral fruity light and vibrant perfume another version of la vie est belle but without the glowing notes it's bright cheerful bubbly 
and sweety on the dried. On the opening, you get a beautiful gourmandish and delicious candy apple, black currant citrus. On the middle is rose and Egyptian jasmine, so very opulent. And on the base, it woodsy with the musk and the sandalwood and a beautiful creamy vanilla. So I have a small cutie sample here and I'm gonna try and tell you. So this perfume is very, very close to La Vie et Belle but slightly fresher and lighter without the cloying notes of La Vie et Belle. Mmm. Oh yeah, another version of La Vie Belle. Uh, we are in the pinky, sweet, flowery uh, perfume, also like Miss Dior, but without the cloying, sweetie, dryden of La Vie Belle. Mmm. Yeah, I got also something uh, sweetie, peachy. Yeah, beautiful, fresh, sweet, flowery perfume. Another one which is beautiful and very underrated for spring. This is Jeanne by Lanvin Lunch in 2008. It's a light, transparent, watery rose. So beautiful rose, a perfume with something very watery and some cotton candy notes also on the middle. It's a clean girl scent, so it's sweet, fruity, flowery at the same time, but with a clean, watery notes. Well put together and at the same time, very girly perfume. So on the opening, it's fresh and fruity with the pear, the lemon and the black berry. On the middle is peony, rose, freesia, raspberry and on the base, it's musk, amber and sandalwood. What I love about this perfume is really the clean, watery vibe of this one. This is such a clean rose perfume and I love two notes especially the pear and the raspberry. Last one, and this is a beautiful version of the original Arpège, which I also review one year ago. So this is Eclat d'Arpège, launched in 2002. Eclat d'Arpège is another flanker of the original Arpège version. So if you don't like the aldehyde in the original version, this retro aldehyde, go for the flanker. You're gonna love this one. This is a flowery version of Arpege without the aldehyde. This is very opulent and rich. And the most predominant note of this one are the peach and the peach blossom. And let me tell you that I love peach blossom notes for spring. Another peach blossom perfume I can recommend is Fleur Nocturne by Isabelle, but I can smell miles away the peach blossom. So the peach blossom notes are in general sweeter and more dreamy, airy than the orange blossom. So this is green lila on the opening, peony peach blossom, which I love, 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 musk, petit grain and cedar. Definitely a peachy, opulent, sweet perfume, but this one is not cloying because of the green lila. I think the green lila in this this one makes everything. If I wouldn't add the green light, this perfume would be very cloying. Mm. Yeah, there is something definitely fresh in this one and you got the peach. The peach is so predominant in this one. I can smell miles away the peach blossom. Mm. Mm. Yeah, beautiful one. So I really got the peach, the peach blossom, the green lilac, which also adds something very fresh and light. So this one is absolutely not cloying at all. Even it's a little bit sweet on the dry down because of the peach blossom. And even it's very opulent. It's floral, fresh, green, and slightly sweetie on the dry down. Mmm, perfect, not expensive spring perfume. So which one would I choose for spring among the five one I just suggest if there is only one to pick, only one, I will pick definitely Cabotine Rose. Why is that? Because first I love rose perfume. I think they are perfect for spring. And also because in this perfume, there's a very interesting and beautiful combination between the cherry blossom, which I love i love cherry blossom it's flowery sweet and never clawing and there's something super dreamy about cherry blossom and the rose make it more vibrant a little bit more rich and opulent and at the same time you also get the green citrusy aromatic notes of cabotine so because of all this blend and beautiful combination 
I will choose Cabotin Rose version if there's only one to pick. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and my suggestion of a top five inexpensive perfume for spring. They are all beautiful, they all smell amazing and they are gorgeous French perfume. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget also to tell me what you think about this perfume in the comment section. Which one would you pick among the five? Which is your favorite one? And I see you very soon for another perfume video. Bye!